Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silphan. In this math series, we take a look at the math behind cards in Paragon and try to see what true value they have. In today's video, we're looking at Supply Sergeant and, if you're running short of time, that here is the TLDR. It gives pretty good stats for being a 3-cost card and the active restores mana to nearby allied Heroes doesn't cost anything, and you can have that every 75 seconds. You can restore up to 750 mana to uh, on four nearby allies, and essentially, on its own, Supply Sergeant is about average when it comes to mana and mana regen stats on the card, but when one includes frequent use of the passive, it immediately becomes a very good mana regen card. As soon as it is used on two or more allies, it can easily provide the most mana regen of any card besides generator which only affects you and spriken which kind of only affects you and one other individual and this is when we look at an entire when you look at the entire team perspective in the early game supply sergeant can provide enough mana for about two to three abilities or more depending on the hero and in the late game really only about one to two abilities essentially riot sapper is the best mana regen card for both its user and for the user's team again besides regenerator and spike in in a way and supply sergeant's ability to enable one's team to use two to three more abilities when grouped in early to mid game objective fights should not be underestimated especially if the enemy team has a bellica again supply sergeant is a relatively good counter to an enemy bellica who can you know drain that mana from your team the value of one to two extra abilities worth of mana in the late game however would not be great and it kind of falls off at that point if one needs mana regen or a counter to bellica supply sergeant is nearly the best option for both the user and for their entire team so that is the tldr what is the more in-depth look if you're possibly newer or you just want to know the proof and what those numbers actually say so if you if you don't know supply sergeant is a three intellect knowledge card that gives you 110 mana and 25 percent mana regen the active is mana showed restore 150 mana to nearby allied heroes it doesn't cost any mana and has a 75 second cooldown you can use it every 75 seconds and interestingly enough it actually does you it actually does affect you so if you have supply sergeant when you press uh and you press the that active it actually does increase your mana as well so it not only increases your allies but also yourself a little note on mana regen percentage this is how it works you have base mana regen on your hero that increases with hero levels mana regen percentage just multiplies that base mana regen so those kind of multiply together and then what happens is you add on to on to that mana regen as a number so say a card or a uh, or a gem or attributes give you mana regen as a number well that is added on to your base mana regen multiplied by your mana regen so as your base mana regen increases the the value of a percentage increase increases right a the same percentage of a bigger number is bigger so just keep that in mind it's a bit strange to think about and a bit hard to kind of quantify in your head but hopefully i'll give you some insight into that so a very simple math here we're going to compare nearby allies versus the mana restored versus a mana regen equivalent if you were to use supply sergeant every single time it was off so essentially you just go the mana the mana that it that it regenerates divided by that cooldown which is 75 seconds so if zero nearby allies are are are, are nearby you're just using it for yourself that's 150 mana divided by 75 second cooldown is two mana regen that's actually pretty good two mana regen for example in the early game would have to be about a hundred percent mana regen Ma uh, casters in the early game really only have like something like 1.5 to two mana regen i do believe so in order to get two mana regen per second they would need to double that or have a hundred percent increase so that's kind of to give you a reference and you know what two mana regen is darn good as soon as you have one nearby ally that's 300 mana four mana regen per second if you want to look at it as as, as a whole in team or four nearby allies your entire team is nearby 750 mana and 10 mana regen 10 mana regen 
is insane. That is what that Mana Fountain gem can give you, which obviously is a huge power spike for a lot of uh, casters and uh, is, is a big deal to get. So that is kind of the way to look at it you have to because it's a team utility card you have to kind of look at it from a team perspective and that is tremendous value even on yourself but likely you're going to be a support uh using this so you're going to use it pretty much always on you and your carry for mana regen is really good uh when you're talking about you know the value of your entire team that is really really good now when we go down here and look at comparisons of Supply Sergeant to other cards, it kind of gets quite interesting. So if we come over here, these are some various cards with their costs and what they give in mana and mana regen. Now mana regen can either be a percent, right, multiplying your base mana or just adding on to your base mana multiplied by the percentage, just adding on to that with a number. Now, some of them have some um, have some assumptions, which I will explain. Rejuvenator, well, that's quite simple. It gives 130 mana when you use it twice. Quite simple, just like that. Um, and then, but it gives, it gives mana regen, but I'm just choosing to put this as, um, as a figure here. And actually, I think that's more than that. Yeah. It's 130 per use, so with two charges, it's 260. As you can see, the, the two items that cost gold are very good. They are very good. Rejuvenator, 260 mana in the early game. That is really quite good. And Generator, uh, crazy potential here. Uh, has Can, can, it may not always provide you 2,250 mana. That is absolutely insane. And there's some really interesting ways of using a uh, generator out there um, that is for another video. So, I mean, because they cost gold, they are, they're meant to have a lot of value because you're spending gold on it and you're not getting attribute points. So it's kind of hard to compete with that. But for other cards, it is here. Advanced Evolution, I've tried to maybe think of, you know, what scenarios you would use, you know, use it in the early game, and every time you, you know, you level up, you get 5% per, per second for 3 seconds of your of your mana. So I kind of ballpark that to about 60 to 90 mana every time that goes off. So in your head, you can kind of do some math there and see, you know, how much will I have it on, versus how much will it give me. But you can see that, you know, Supply Sergeant, really is doing quite well. For Chanting Shaman, again, it can either give you 75% with one nearby ally, and then 150 with two nearby two nearby allies. Really, by the time you're using Chanting Shaman, you're not going to have very many heroes with you, so it's either 75% or 150, which, you know, is better than Supply Sergeant, but Supply Sergeant does a lot of other things as well. Tireless Reaper, this one was a bit tough. I kind of went with a 90 ability, uh, 90 mana uh, for an ability cost. And then what I kind of did was, if you can spam that ability 100 times, or uh, if you if you spam a, an ability every time Tireless Reaper is up, you're actually kind of getting 2.5 to about 5 mana regen. Uh, through Tireless Reaper. Tireless Reaper is really, really good if you want to do some good harassment, so get it. But I just tried to, I tried to quantify that here, and it's looking pretty good. Lightstep Vanguard just gives 100 mana, plus obviously the ability to teleport around. Brilliant Fortification gives you 72% mana regen. And at this point, you're starting to get to higher cost cards. Uh, you're trying to punching above, uh, above Supply Sergeant's weight class. But once you start looking up here, like the stats kind of come become comparable. So Soldier of Fortune is probably the closest one that d competes directly with Supply Sergeant. Uh, Finder Playthings even has some mana region on it. So Soldier of Fortune here, I mean, it does other things as well, but now we're starting to get into something that actually competes with it. Spryken is the better card when it comes to sustaining both health through Spryken, but also mana. 140 mana, and straight up more mana regen. And then what I did here in the, plus this four to six, which you see there, is I tried to, I just use what I thought was an appropriate amount of mana, and then, you know, 50% of, you know, that you regenerate through spriking of the, of however much mana you're missing. I kind of put a rough number to that, and that was four to six. So that's really good. And then of course I, I averaged that out over its cooldown. 
it has a monstrous potential, Spryken. So Spryken definitely beats Supply Sergeant, um, but Supply Sergeant affects more than just two people, uh, which is a consideration. So, And then there's something like Gates of Salvation that I, I, I threw in there. There are other sustain cards higher than that, but I, you know, Supply Sergeant is a low-cost card. There are some comparisons. So what are some factual statements we can make about Supply Sergeant? On its own, Supply Sergeant is about average when it comes to mana, mana regen stats. Maybe a little bit more if you want to kind of consider some lower lower cost cards or uh, sorry higher if you want to consider some of the lower cost and a little bit lower if you want to consider some of the higher cost but it's about average i would say when it comes to just its stats but when of course you include the passive which is really awesome it immediately becomes a very good mana regen card very good especially when you're using it appropriately as much as you can as soon as it is used on two or more allies it is E it can easily provide the most mana regen of any card, especially when you look team-wide and when you exclude something like Generator, which is really only for you. I mean, Narbash can run away with gen gen with mana Generator. Just com <laughs> when, when you upgrade his Song of My People a ton and then you put a Generator on and you just, boom, you just keep uh, Song of My People on with Generator. It's insane the amount of healing he can do. But, I mean, that's a really... Really interesting use case. And then Spryken is only you and somebody else. So when you look at the team-wide, Supply Sergeant is really the best way of, uh, of providing mana regen for your team. And, um, and uh, again, kind of yourself. In the early game, Supply Sergeant can provide enough mana for two to three abilities, which is important uh, in, uh, around objectives. In the late game, however, only about one to two. And really... A lot of people don't have mana issues in the late game, so its its value does drop in that late game. Some conclusions I want to bring to the table for Supply Sergeant. Well, Supply Supply Sergeant is the best mana region card for both its user. It says Riot Sapper. My goodness. Supply Sergeant is the best mana region card for both its users and for the user's team, besides Generator and Spryken in their own scenarios. Supply Sergeant's ability to enable one's team to use two to three more abilities when grouped in the early game to mid-game objective fights should not be underestimated, especially when there is a Bellica, who is very much meta and she is a really good hero. I would absolutely not underestimate Supply Sergeant when you're taking down Fang Tooth, maybe even an, orb, an early Orb Prime. Use that, especially, you know, when you're bursting down Fang Tooth, using some abilities perhaps. Boom, you can use Supply Sergeant once the enemy team tries to contest, and you have a good two to three more abilities worth of mana uh, in, in your mana pool. The value, again, that uh, what I said earlier, it's not too great in the late game. People tend, typically don't have very many mana issues. And even if you have a mana issue, I mean, usually you're pretty much probably dead already or the engagement's over. So the value of one to two extra abilities worth of mana in the late game, I don't think is that great. And if one needs mana regen or a counter to Bellica, Supply Sergeant is nearly the best option for the user and for the whole team, especially. So especially as a support, maybe as a mid laner, I wouldn't necessarily get it but it is an option absolutely needs to be considered. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Supply Sergeant. I was nicely surprised. I may, may just use that on my Muriel. Please like this video if you like it, to save this. I can share it with the community, guys, of course. Subscribe if you guys like this content, especially, especially if you found it useful. Please subscribe so I can help you out in the future. Please check the video description for my website, merchandise store, Amazon affiliate link, my Patreon link, and all of the social media right here. Please, huge, huge, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, YouTube sponsors, and Twitch subscribers who all go out of their way to make these videos possible. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.